it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial. And before we jump into it, I need to take you guys out to my window so you can see what monstrosity is happening while I film. So let's go do that first, and then we'll talk about this project, shall we? Do y'all see that? Do you see that? I know my garden is like a super crazy, uh, funky junk garden, but it is snowing again. Poor little hummingbird feeder, ready for spring to get its butt in gear and get over here. Yes, it is snowing again. Fun fact, here in my area of Wisconsin, it has snowed every single Thursday, except for January 1st. Oh my God, someone's dancing in the snow on the other window. That's freaking adorable. Bless you for enjoying the snow because I'm complaining. Oh, and they've got kids running around too. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. So in honor of being sick and tired of the snow, this happens every year. Uh, we're in uh, mid-February right now as I'm filming this and um, we have lots of full springs that come through Wisconsin until spring is really here and then like that is already summer and spring we don't get to enjoy it hardly at all most of the time. Anyway, we're in our first first or second of uh, full springs right now. We are going to make something happy, bright, sunshiny, e e, -E. Sure, that's the way to describe it. Where did my project go? I moved everything. It's over there. I'm gonna go grab all of the materials. We'll show you what we're working with. And um, yeah, we're just going to pretend spring is here. Shall we? We shall, let's go do it. I don't know what it is, but as soon as like I'm ready for a season change, I'm ready for a new wreath. I don't know if you all are like that. Oh, I'm dropping flowers. I, mean, I didn't get myself all situated like I normally do. Don't mind me. I'm just getting situated as we chat, okay? First up, we got these back in stock, you guys. The chicken wire wreath, the square one in particular, we haven't had for years. We had these like right when we started Oh You're Lovely, which is well over four years ago now. We only had them for a very short period of time and then we could never get them again. So you know what we decided to do this last year? We worked with somebody and we were like, we're gonna make them ourselves. And so that's what we did. We, we made hundreds upon hundreds of them. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. So you can check these out over at ohyourlovely.com. We also do have a wholesale and you can get them in cases if you want. You can get a whole bunch. Um, we have them in square and round. So today we're gonna work with the square one because I haven't worked with one of these in quite a while and I don't think we've ever done a YouTube tutorial on them because we weren't doing YouTube videos when these were around. So there's our main material for greenery. I'm gonna be using the soft touch um, eucalyptus might still be on the website. I'm pretty sure it is. And then we have the large ruscus. This is more of a yellow toned greenery, uh, which is perfect because we're going for like bright, sunny, happy, not dark and moody. Sometimes the blue greens kind of get more dark and moody. Now the flowers, I just grabbed a whole bunch of different flowers from lots of our different past dyed assortments. That's why I love our dyed assortments because I can mix and match. If I am not gonna use the whole color story as is, I can mix it and match with a whole bunch of others. So let's just go through some of the flowers that I'm grabbing. I mean, come on. Hello, happiness. And we've got this lovely like peachy color. And then we've got an even lighter pinky peachy. And we've got this like kind of lighter green. And then for the, oh wait, I've got only one of these. That's okay, but only one of those. But it pulls everything together. We've got the, the peaches and the orange. Well, there's no orange, but this is kind of orange. But that green goes with this green, like it's all gonna pull together. And then finally to pop up, just to have that really like burst of color, we've got a hot pink bad boy, this little, little Miss Ivy, um, a whole bunch of those to sprinkle in. So that's what we're working with. We've got our glue gun ready to go. You definitely are gonna want a silicone mat or two. Those are gonna become very handy because glue is gonna drip through those little chicken wire holes and you want something to catch it that isn't your fingers or your tabletop. So grab a silicone mat or two. We also carry those in the shop and let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I think we're gonna do is work with the large ruscus. Oh, I already cut one of those off. Oh well, that happens. And these do slide. Look at that, whoop, whoop, whoop. 
I slide them up to make it easier to cut down at the bottom. I'm not 100% sure if I need all of the length. I'll probably cut these a little bit shorter afterwards. But we're going to cut them all off. I don't think I'm going to need any to be on a stem for a later project. And I think for this bad boy, ooh, I got to move Vikram a little bit. He's running his nose a little too close to me. I think we're just going to do an L shape. You have so many options. You can do whatever you want with these. You can do an L up there and then something down here, but I think we're going to we're going to fully frame the top and bottom of this, I think is what we're going to do. And I think I am going to keep them um not Normally I like to like push these all up and have it real, but I'm not going to because this is going to spread it out a little bit more and I'm only going to do it in that one little guy where I want it to like kind of frame up the corner a little bit better. And there's usually going to be like a hole where you're shifting gears, so to speak. That's normally where you go, oh, none the wiser. That, that's normally what we do. All right, I feel good about those placements. For the most part, let's glue it all into place. And then we're also going to slide in a little bit of this. I also realized, I didn't realize that I had cut off a whole bunch of that. Again, it's okay. I think the more tutorials you see from me, the more you get used to me doing that. All right, glue time. No more talking. Put on some music and glue, glue, glue to your little heart's content. Again, this is why we have those mats underneath though, because there is going to be some glue slippage. Um, you can also weave the wires, which I think I'm going to do. Actually, maybe we don't have to glue. I don't think we have to glue these. Not all of them, at least. Look at that. Did you see that? Hold on. I need to show you something. See, see this guy? Look at this. Hold on. Let's bring this over. Look at that. We can just weave it in and out. I'm going to grab my little needle nose. If you wanted it to be a little bit more secure, if you have brown wire, this would be the time to bust that out and wrap it a little bit more. I don't, but I could use green wire if I wanted to. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sneak it in there. Get on in there. Come on now. You know you wanna. Peer pressure. Even though I'm not your peer. You know what I mean. Okay. Here. Huh. Well, I'll be. Oh, didn't work. <sighs> Failed test. The one did. Cool figure. Oh. As much as I'm finicking with this, it might be just easier to glue this sucker in place. So, we're going to weave it in but then we'll add a little glue just just for a little extra stability Just taking the one wire that's a little bit more of a bendy wire and I'm twisting it around some of the other wires that are there so they're all kind of connected together for extra stability. This guy we're going to have to put some more glue on probably. Maybe. Hold on. Lately my goal in life is if I can figure out a way that we don't have to use glue, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> That's my 2020, my 2023 goal, my crafty goal. Use less hot glue. I don't, we'll see if that actually. That's probably not always the best solution to some of my, some of my projects, but I think it's gonna work for this one. The flowers will have lots of glue, don't you worry. And that'll hold everything else in place too. So.
Well, and would you look at that? It's flower time already. Isn't that lovely? All right, so I'm gonna color block these this time. Sometimes I just willy-nilly lay things in, but this time we're gonna color block. So we're gonna start with one style flower at a time. Debating if I should try to go see if I can find, oh, this one's bigger. See, no more hole. So my thought is, I only have two of those. And remember that other lovely flower, I only have one of those. So maybe we use those as our three kind of counter spots. Counter spots? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't want to just have one of those. That's too dang pretty. If I had three of them, the third one, oh, I do have three. I lied. I lied. I found it. All right. We're going to do three. Except for... I was like, wait. This is so. No, we're gonna do it. We'll start with those three first. So let's glue those in place. All right. I also have a gaping hole there, and this is a big flower. I think it needs to live there. So that's what we're gonna do. So I picked them up and I forgot where I put them. That's okay. We're gonna, we'll find new, so, new spots for them or same spots. I didn't realize I found the right spot. I feel like there was one over there. Whoops, whoops. You're not on the mat, get on the mat. It's okay to be in your head sometimes, but at some point you gotta stop thinking and just do, okay? It's more for me than you, but there's a life lesson for us both. <laughs> You know, there's that say, famous saying from a famous shoe company. Take it to heart sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Under the next. I'm waiting to do the hot pink last. If you didn't catch on to that. Now, I definitely feel like I wish I had one more than that, but there, but I don't, and I don't want to introduce another color. So it's just going to be what it is. Maybe we'll bring that down a little bit. But no. Yeah, okay. I feel good about that. I feel good. Let's glue those. This one probably should have went over there, just because this is much, got more space than the other side. Okay, let's give it two seconds. I'm gonna step away, I'm gonna grab a couple things, and we'll see if we're gonna add anything additional to it. I, oh, I hit the camera. I figured something, I was so excited. I figured something out. These probably look possibly familiar if you were um, deep diving with us on a bridal series we recently just wrapped up. The dollies that are this like beautiful, kind of chartreuse kind of green. It pulls it all together. So that's what we're gonna do. And now I don't have that gaping hole and I am now a very, very happy Stephanie. So we're gonna glue those in and uh, she be done. And we'll talk about these and what else you can use these for, for besides just a simple old wreath. Now, whenever I do one of these, people want to see what the back is, and I don't blame you. I get it. This one's actually probably the cleanest one I've ever done. But do you see that? And you see how flat it is? That's why we use the mat. And then, I mean, with your finger or with a scissors, you just cut that off. I have another little one down there, a little teardrop. And it's nice and cleaned up then. And you can pull off any of the other little stragglers. The other thing you can do with these too, if you want for a little extra stability is I will flip it upside down and I will take a dab of like a little bit of glue all the way through 
and just hold everything else together. If you don't want to see this too, or you don't want your customers to see it, or you want to give a little bit more of a cleaner finish on the back, what you can do is put like a little piece of felt or moss or I wouldn't put moss, but like felt or, or you could glue some other leaves to it or something, whatever you want to do. But I have always, whenever I sold these way back in the day, four plus years ago, always just left them as is. So there we go. Oh, oh, you need to, I got to re-glue that guy. He just moved. See that? We're going to re-glue him and then we'll come right back. Oh, that was a quick one. It turned out so cute. So let's see. This is the way that I originally, originally set it up as I was looking at it. But we can also, this is the joy of these. Oh my gosh. So you guys will have to let me know, like, what is your favorite orientation of said wreath? Uh, these chicken wire wreaths are lovely because not only can you use it as a interesting visually type of wreath, but they also work great as a photo frame as well. Get like a little clip, like a little clothespin or something, clip a picture in here. That's how I used to sell them quite a bit. I would show them with pictures on there so you could see that you could use it as that. I've also had customers in the past use them as uh, earring holders as well. Now, as I say customers, just know, don't send me a message if I will make you one because I won't because we no longer make finished products. This is years ago before Oh Your Lovely became what Oh Your Lovely is where we became a solely a supply, a craft supply company. Um, I used to do craft shows all the time. That's how um, I stumbled upon the flowers to even begin with and they entered my life. So there is that. I hope you enjoyed it. It makes me happy. It makes me smile and I don't have to... I looked outside and it makes me grumpy again. But this makes me happy. That's all that matters, right? Uh, so go craft yourself a little some sunshine, especially if it's snowing. That's Stephanie approved to go do so. Oh, now there's a puppy with a sweater walking. God bless people in Wisconsin. We're built different. I would not be walking. Oh, obviously, I'm not walking in this stuff. I'm over it. And we probably still, we get snow all the way through Easter, so I just gotta stop whining and just deal with it. But I haven't started yet, and I probably won't ever. That's just how it is. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the tangents that went on about how much I hate snow, even though I live in a place where my entire life there's been snow. Once again, back on the tangent. Any hoozies, I hope you loved the video. I hope it inspired you and it brought you a little bit of sunshine. If it did, make sure to leave a comment, give a, a thumbs up or a heart or all those things. It really does help the channel. Speaking of which, if you love this channel, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we post a video, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll get a notification every time we post a new video, which is typically on Wednesdays. If you'd like to learn more about the chicken wire wreath, the wood flowers, or the greenery we used, go to oyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you something. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, we'll see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.